for joining me. Um, no stood in front of the NRL trophy. It's pretty yeah. impressive, isn't it? It is. It's uh, pretty heavy as well. You know, I think a few people struggled uh, picking it up. But it's nice to see it. It looks like it's, we always talk about um, do the Australian teams take it seriously, but it's always it. Sydney seems to be making a big effort of it, bringing the trophy over here. The event site like today. Yeah, you know, I think people do say about that being that they're, they're always going to turn up and you know want to win. Uh, and, and it's the same as us. We take it as a, as a massive game. And, you know, hopefully, that's a good step for the, for the season as well. How's training been this week with the ACDC band coming in it's, at some uh, point? Been a bit different, yeah, but you know, it's nice to you know break it up a bit. And that we've trained really hard this week, and uh, we've got another session to go before the game. But you know, everyone's looking good. How do you go about training in, in the week of such a big game? Because I guess emotion can take over in there. Is do you keep it as normal as possible, or or is that edged because it is important? Yeah, I think uh, personally, not that learn you know just kind of settle the nerves a bit and just take it as a normal game really and just, just do the normal thing like a little week in week out and I think that's similar for, for most of the boys obviously we know that you know the exp- um, you know how big of a game it is but uh, just trying to strip it back and like a normal super league game every time the world club challenge comes around obviously the last time everything was about you and your dad this yeah. time it's about Adrian and his yeah, son and yeah. um, how nice would it be to get two world club challenge and then that takes you above your dad in that regard yeah. as well and you know that that'd be brilliant um, we'll get the bragging rights then but you know, it's just another cool story to, to add, really. And you know, obviously, what's going on with Adrian as well is it's pretty pretty good story to have. So uh, it's good. You know, that's what the game provides is stories like this. And you know, I'm sure there'll be a few more over the next few years. It, how are you finding? Obviously, towards the end of last season, you moved over to that right edge rather than the left yeah. edge. Are you finding it completely different, or is, is it basically the same apart from you've got to you pass more left to right, or? No, it is pretty different. Obviously, yeah. I've always played left side and I carry the ball in my left hand. Yeah. Um, so it, it is, you know, it's a massive difference, really. Um, so I'm just try, trying to learn, learn that trade. You know, I could play there in the future. So I'm just trying to play the best I can on that in that position uh, for the meanwhile. Is the key to get Sarge to learn how to sidestep off his other foot, and then you yeah. can go back over to yeah, the left side? I'll be uh, back over there then. But, um, no, look, I've, I think Lamy's just come with how we won the final last year. And, uh, I've just got to do my job week in, week out. And, you know, hopefully I'll be back over on the left soon. I take it you're obviously massively looking forward to Sunday night as well. Oh, yeah, can't wait. Um, you know, these games don't come around often. And, uh, you know, it's a massive deal for the town and on the personal level as well. Uh, you know, I've got one more good challenge win now and I'd, uh, I'd love another one in the trophy cabinet.